Gen Men. Let's go. Do it for the many. Kuna video ambayo alipost mchekeshaji a wiki umoja kutokea nchini Kenya kwenye ukurasa wake wa Instagram ikiwa na maonesha anacheza na kwa sehemu ya chini yani hajavaa suruali lakini amevaa bandana yani kaifanya kama kuwa sehemu ya nguo na ana muonekano wa kike kabisa kwani amevalia wigi na kwenye sehemu ya kifua amevaa bra na hapa anaonekana anacheza moja kati ya single msanii kutokea nchini Nigeria na hapa hii video siwezi kuiweka kutokana na maadili yake lakini nataka tufahamu kuwa reaction ya baadhi ya mastaa ilikuwa ni ye kusema na kumshambulia hasa kuonesha kutokufurahishwa kutokana kuwa kabla hapo kuna moja post ambayo aliweka kuonekana kutokufurahishwa na kitendo cha wasanii wa nchini Kenya ya kuwa hawafanyi kazi kwa bidii yani kujituma mpaka kuweza kupata nafasi hadhi ya juu hasa kutokana na msanii Damo Platinumz ku kuwa treated vizuri kutokana na kukaribishwa na kutokea South Africa mpaka kutua nchini Kenya kwenye ufunguaji wa kampeni za mgombea wa rais Raila Odinga wiki iliyopita ya wiki moja alizungumza mambo mengi sana hasa kuonesha kuguswa na kiasi cha fedha ambacho msanii Damo Platinumz alilipo kwa dakika chache tu takriban milioni 11 za Kenya kufanya performance kwa dakika kadhaa na kufanya comparison kwa wasanii wa Kenya ni kutokupewa nafasi kama hivyo ama kulipo wa mkwanja mrefu kama huo na kuwataka wafanye kazi kwa bidii sasa kutokana hii video ambayo aliweka Bien alikuja kumwa tag na kusema kwamba hivi ndivyo ambavyo showbiz inatakiwa kuwa Kagrob Jones na wasanii wengine pia wakoonesha kusema kitu na haikuishi hapo kupitia Kiss FM radio ya Kenya watangazaji wawili Oga Obina pamoja na Kamene Goro walifanya kama discussion kuonesha kutokupendezwa na hiki ambacho mchekeshaji huyu amekifanya kwenye ukurasa wake wa Instagram kwa hiyo post ambayo pia kwa nchini Nigeria imeweza kusogea sana na wow kila mmoja alikuwa na mtazamo wake hasa upande wa Kamene Goro ambaye alisema kwamba hajafurahishwa na kitendo kutokana kwamba hapa ni kama Eric Omondi amepitiliza sana yani kitendo cha yeye kutumia bandana kama vazi la kike yani muonekano wake kama yupo beach lakini pia bra na kuonekana pia na wigi lakini kujipodua upande wa uso kwake alionesha kama kutokupendezwa lakini pia mchekeshaji na mtangazaji mwenzake Oga Obina naye pia akaweza ku react ambapo walitumia dakika nyingi sana kuzungumzia hii situation na kusema kwamba mchekeshaji Eric Omoda ameshafanya makubwa sana kwenye industry ya uchekeshaji na yeye pia anasema amekufanya vitu ambavyo vinaendana na mtoto wa kike ni kuuvaa usiku kwa mwanamke lakini sio kama hivi ambavyo mchekeshaji huyu anafanya kwa ni ni too much yani amepitiliza sana na uwezi kuvalia bandana tena ukiwa umefunga kile upande tu pamoja na bra hata kama ni uchekeshaji yani hii kwamba imepitiliza kabisa oga kwenye maelezo yake katika kipindi alisema hivi uh, i think he's going through something <laughs> oh think yeah, okay he's going through everything <laughs> <laughs> yeah or something is you know clearly going through him but now uh, this is what happens what so Uh, Eric decides to go and do that ka, ka bikini what's the, that thing called okay bandana amechukua bandana akafunga kwa kiuno kama skirt buda na kava ni brama ni boob top is a bikini top bikini top yes na akafanya face beat na whatever dude so I, i've done uh, I've done uh, a wig yeah. and I've done a female makeup on my face yeah. because I was doing a character called Abina. Yeah. Then I also did a character called Anti Waharia. I remember. Yes. But I've not gone to the extent of now fully doing back a bikini top na nini everything mm, like that. Yay. And then Eric was advertising a waist slimming cream or whatever. And I'm like ah but yeah ni kama huko ni kama huko of that closet. Toka kwa hiyo bro. Toka kwa hiyo draw kuja hapa nje sema hivi ndio vile hiko he will not tumeshakuwa you know Eric has done everything like I was there's a time I was talking to someone and I said Eric has done everything let's wait for what he'll do next I was not ready for this because Eric ametembea uji Eric ameshinanga na maboxer ameka boxer wa white afanya hizo manini zake za mabodi Eric ameva cello tape Eric ameva cello tape ameva juala as in Like he's done everything and then now you know the thing about hype and when people talk about you is that you always want another high it's a high it makes you feel i need to do something else to make them talk so that's where Eric is at the moment so what he did was this one and yes clearly guys are talking but now after this now what's left to be Buddha, may i do sasa end a cut Caitlyn Jenner <laughs> Say Eric Omondi Jena. Here's what I did early for your morning. <laughs> so hiyo ni kwa uchache tu kwa kile ambacho alike discuss Oga Obina pamoja na Kamene Go na hiye kumpelekea Eric Omondi ku react kwa kujirekodi video ya dakika tatu na kutulia maelezo na nilikuonesha hapa kile ambacho alikisema Eric Omondi 
kwa tusi yani kutumia maneno makali juu ya kile ambacho walikuwa kikidiscuss kuhusu yeye Oga Obina pamoja na Kamaine Goro na kusema kwamba radio yao kipindi chao kwanza kisikilizwa kina mvuto wote ni nani ambaye anasikiliza Kiss FM kwa Kenya na sio hivyo tu akamtaja ka Cargo Jones alikuwa ni rapper chip na hakuishi hapo akafanya comparison jile akafanya comparison juu ya kile ambacho Diamond Platinumz alikifanya kwa kutunguliza kwa dakika kadhaa tu na kulipwa milioni 11 za Kenya na kusema kwamba wasanii wa Kenya wanalipwa 1030 kufanya local shows kwenye clubs ni mambo mengi makali ambayo aliyazungumza hasa kujitapa kwamba ana nguvu kubwa na ushawishi kwenye jamii kwa nchini Kenya, ana followers wengi, ana mkwanja mrefu lakini pia ndiye mchekeshaji ambaye ana mafanikio makubwa sana kwa kutembea mataifa mbalimbali makubwa nje ya Kenya na nje ya Afrika kwa ujumla kuliko entertainer yote kwa nchini Kenya. So akasema kwamba anapojita kwamba yeye ni mfalme wa comedy kwa nchini Kenya, anamaanisha na kutaka wasimzungumzie kulitaja jina lake yani mtu yote ambaye yupo kwenye industry ya entertainment kwa nchini Kenya. Kwenye hiyo video pia reaction ilikuwa ni kubwa kwa baadhi ya mastaff wa Essence Cow the Don alikuja kushusha comment ya Emoji akiwa na cheka sababu akasema wewe pia tulio bana new nini wewe unajirepeat sana tushakusikia. Kamene Goro ambaye kwenye hii video pia Eric Omondi alimwa tag pakubwa akaja kushusha comment na kusema kwamba mimi ni na mkwanja mrefu kuliko wewe kaka wacha nisianze kusema kunishinda labda followers keep my name out of your mouth Cargo Jones akaja kushusha comment na kusema kwamba hebu sasa sema bila kulia Ben pia akaja kutumia maneno makali kwa kumuomba kwamba Eric Omondi aachane na wao yani afuatilie mambo yake na jeshi hapo sasa mchekeshaji Oga Obina ambaye pia alikuwa tag kupitia yeye video ambayo alipost kwenye ukurasa kwa Instagram chekeshaji Eric Omondi amefanya mahojiano na Wiga Evi na kuweza kutolea maelezo yake reaction ambayo alikuwa nayo kutokana na hiki ambacho Eric Omondi alikifanya ambapo amesema kuwa sawa Eric Omondi anamzidi upande wa followers lakini asilimia kubwa followers wa Eric Omondi wanatokea nchini Tanzania na hivyo ikitokea wakienda tamasha yani matamasha ya uchekeshaji kwa nchini Kenya na mimi yeye atamzidi yani ata sold out kuliko Eric Omondi kutokana kuwa fan base yake kubwa ni nje ya Kenya hasa kwa nchini Tanzania na huu ni umaarufu ambao ama upata kutokana na kuwa inge watu maarufu wakubwa kwa nchi ya Tanzania hasa kimaanisha msanii Damo Platinumz na hakushia hapo akasema kwamba kwa nchini Kenya Eric Omondi sio chochote na hana ubunifu wote hata upande wa uchekeshaji and that's why kwa asilimia kubwa content zake amekuwa tu akiwa inge watu maarufu na kwa muda mrefu ajaje na kitu chochote kipi ambacho amekitengeneza yeye na watu wengine kuweza kukifuata. Oga jeshi hapo amemkandamiza kabisa Eric Omondi ambapo amesema kuwa huyu ni mchekeshaji ambaye ni cheap ni rahisi sana kufikika tofauti na vile ambavyo watu wanadhani kwamba ni expensive maybe ukimhitaji basi unahitaji pesa ndefu lakini hapana ni msanii ama mchekeshaji ambaye so hard kumpata and that's why amekuwa akipata gigs za ajabu ajabu tu nataka msikilize hapa Oga Obina kwenye mahojiano haya na Mwigai Ivi nchini Kenya. Hey, I'm an SNS manager man. Yes, you have more followers than me, but that's the only thing that you have that I don't have. Instagram followers. Why? Because you had a head start. Then also most of your followers are from Tanzania. There's no conversion. They follow you from Tanzania because you know you are mimicking one of their own da 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 da. da. Yeah. That's why when I do an event in town and you do an event in town, my event will sell out. You as we've tried it before, you've seen what happened. Also your brand is doing everything because it's cheap. I wouldn't say affordable but that's not it. It's cheap when it's cheap everybody can access it. You're saying oh you've gone to which countries da 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 yeah because you are the one with the visa. We have probably 3 to 5 entertainers in Kenya who have the American visa. A lot of people have been called they haven't gone because they don't have the visa and you go because you have the visa then you are affordable you are comfortable sleeping in people's houses when you go to the states that's you bro whatever tickles your fancy do it but traveling does not mean success because yes you've traveled to all those countries but what do you have to show for it oh you call yourself oh 14 years of comedy what's there to show so oh, yes i have money having money is relative what is having money for you okay you have money which money the mansion in karen or the bed sit in kilimani the rental bed sit in kilimani or the 2002 old range rover sport that is chilling at Og at ogada king rovers you can pay 20000 shillings to get it back which money are we talking about eric you lack originality you thrive on duplication 
there is nothing you stand for. Like what definitely commodity? Come the guy who does everything. Someone does something, you do the way they've done it, you mimic it in whatever. Yes, you're funny, according to you, with which jokes? Churchill show jokes from 2004. What's the new joke you wrote? You wrote. I'm not saying that you said that you wrote, that you created. You say that you're being called by, you're doing, I don't know how many shows. Yeah, because you're readily available, then they can afford you. Being everywhere does not mean value. It's availability. All right? And also, it is so much surprising that a 50-year-old man is bragging about Instagram followers. Bro, really?